started in, in TAFE and we, well for me, I, I went in as a technical college student and I popped out the end as a College of Advanced Education student. But I like to say that I'm TAFE trained, technical college trained. We went nine to five, five days a week. Um, we did lettering, we did anatomy, we did all sorts of things. And really, this event now is the end of a long process where all those things have been, you know, the tape has been devalued and de-skilled over a long, long, long time. And it's very sad that it's taken this for us to, to come out. Um, I think we do two areas really well. And one is what Joan said, students who, for whatever reason, have not been able to face university straight out. Some are just anxious about it, some have had turbulent childhoods, there are people with dyslexia, there's all sorts of things. But every year we find ourselves with a whole lot of great young students who, in a small um, community like a Tate College, can actually find their feet and get lots of confidence, lots of support, and flourish and go into uni and be terrific. The other group are people who've had some kind of job or career or raised their kids, you know, middle-aged women, um, and I've noticed that a lot of the talk is that, oh, well, it's full of middle-aged women anyway and it doesn't lead to jobs. And I just think, well, what is wrong with being a middle-aged woman? Why are we not entitled to um, actually have access to education and to retraining and to um, thinking about our futures in other ways? Most, most of these people have actually... <laughs> And I think also, uh, I noticed that Barry O'Farrell's patting himself on the back of the sculpture by the sea and the Biennale and the Francis Bacon, although maybe not the Francis Bacon. So here if you turn up. Um, and I just think, does he not understand that, that the flowering of things like that um, happens because there's across the board um, TAFE, you know, TAFE and, and COFA and the National Art School and all those things are all part of the microcosm. And if the little Tate College is shut, there'll be less skilled students that arrive at uni next year and there'll be a, you know, a push-on effect from all those things. There'll be art shops that go broke. There'll be framers that go broke. People are just keeping their head above water now. And I think it's a, it's a bigger thing than just the individual courses. That's my little rant. Yeah. <laughs>